Hey guys, today we're going to look at the eye distort node. The eye distort node is used to deform an image according to the values of another map called a UV map. So let's look at what the foundry is saying about this node first. So the eye distort warps the input image based on the values in the images UV channel. The UNV values are offsets for where a pixel will come from. That's the important part here. So the UNVs are an offset for where a pixel will come from and not will go to. So basically what it means is this pixel, for example, would have a UV values in a channel UV. It would have a UV values of 1, 1, U1 and V1. What it would do, it would grab that pixel and bring it here. So this pixel would be that color. It would not push this pixel away. If you wanted to do that, if you wanted to have this pixel go here, what you actually would need to do is you would need to have that pixel have a UV value of minus one, minus one. And then it will bring this one here, right? So it's a little detail, but actually it's kind of important to understand how this works. Okay, so let's look at the parameters for this node. So the first parameters is the channels. So this tells you which channels you want to apply the distortion to. And the second one is the UV channels. So which channels do you want to use as the UV channels? So as the channels who are going to deform your other channels. Basically, these are the deformed and these are the deformer to make it simple. Uh, the UV offset is basically a value that is subtracted from the UV uh, channels to basically move around the distortion. And the reason why they have put that here is because most of the time, the images that you're going to uh, use to distort something are going to have only positive values, right? It's only going to go from 0, 0 to 1, 1, let's say. But it's rare that you're going to have images that would have a negative values, right? So to compensate for that, you basically have an offset here, and this offset is subtracting the value. So not all the image is going to move one way, but instead you can compensate with that and, and just... Uh, basically keep your image in the same place but just have the distortion happen just where you want it to and without moving that image. The UV scale is something that is used to scale the UV's values because if you have a regular image, let's say like you grab an image from the web that has a texture and you want to use that, the values of that uh, image is going to be between 0 and 1, right? And one is really going to move only from one pixel, as we saw. So if you want deformation that are greater than a pixel, you're going to have to scale your UV. So you can do that before, or you can do that in the node right here. Uh, and the blur channel is the channel you want to use to blur the UV channel. So you can have a channel that blurs the UV channel, and you can blur the amount of blurs here. Let's look at a simple example here. So what I did here is I grabbed this uh, image here which is a, a normal map so you can find that you know if you're familiar with 3d rendering you've seen these around and i'm taking this one because these are a little more interesting and they have like depth in it a little bit so uh, uh, that's why i'm using this one so the simple thing i'm doing here is i'm just tiling this image and i'm going to deform that image in order to do so I need to copy the UV information into that branch here, into that node. Uh, because the eye distort node doesn't have two inputs, right? It has a, a mask input, but otherwise I have only one input. So that means that everything has to be brought in in the same uh, pipe. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm just going to use a shuffle copy. And it's very simple here. I'm using the RGB of one, which is one. I'm using the first two channels and I'm copying them into something that I created here, which is uh, the UNV channel. So in order to create it, I hope you guys know, you go in here and then you create uh, whatever channel you want, you name it the way you want, and uh, that's how it works. So that's what I did. And I called it distort, so later on in my branches, in my pipe, I know uh, what it refers to. So what I have here is the original image, and then in the distort channel, if I go here, I have the UNV values of my original image. The color is different because I don't have uh, the blue, right? I just have red and green, U and V. So here we go. And I don't need anything else because the U and V is not, uh, it's only two channels, right? So you can use only the two first channel. So if I look at my distort node here, that is, uh, so I tweaked it a little bit earlier, but I'll, I'll explain why and how. So let's put everything back to zero and see, to default and see what it does, right? So it doesn't do much, right? You can see 
there is something happening because the filtering is changing, but really nothing is really moving. If you were to scale the UVs like this, you start to see that you can start to see some deformation, right? But what you also see is that the image is moving and you know it's not really something I want to do. I don't want to move that image, I just want to distort it, right? And that's why the UV offset is, is here. It allows you to compensate for that move so the image doesn't move and is only distorted. And the value, I, it's pretty simple. The value of this UV offset should be the value of what's in that image in the spaces, in the places when there's no distortion. So I don't know if that makes sense. I'm going to repeat that. But so basically the UV offset value ideally is wherever this thing is flat, is the average, right? So let's say, let's look for an area that has nothing. So let's say this one, right? And if I grab this area, I can see my values here are 215, 212, right? So the UV offset, I'm going to offset it by 0, 2, 1, 5, let's say, right? This is my average value. And now you can see that if I do that, the image is distorted, but it is not moved. And then when you're going to scale that up, it's just going to add some deformation. So, you know, I mean, usually people use these kind of by eye, you know, and you can be like, okay, it's about this, is it still moving? And I'm going here, okay, that's about right, right? So people could do that. And usually people are doing that, but actually that's a little trick here, a little tip on how to uh, make it easier. Another thing you can do is not using this, right? Which I used to do because I would love to, I would like to see the values exactly to be able to pick and see exactly how things are moving. So that's a, the other example here. So the way I did it is I actually subtract all the values that are average to that image. And then it does this, right? So I only see the scratches and everything else is black. But what really happens is that if you see I'm um, going through here, there will be some negative values, right? So these negative values are going to move the pixels one way and the positive value are gonna move the pixel the other way. Or rather grab the pixel from one place and the other one from another place, right? For a different place. That also, I think, allows you to see a little more what it's going to do before you actually do it, right? I think to me, this is making more sense to look at than the original UV map. And then going down the pipe, it's gonna be exactly doing the same thing. So I'm just uh, tightening it here and I'm just putting it into the distort channel. And here I just have to play with the UV scale and it does the same thing, right? So that's basically how you can use the distort node, the eye distort node. That's a very simple thing to do. And then you can experiment with different textures and you can find different usage for this. But basically that's the gist of it. So as usual, if you guys have any questions, ask in the comments and I'll try to answer and try to do my best. If you have suggestions on which nodes you want me to explain, I could do that as well. And I hope uh, this video helped.